Oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm early. Mm. Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's 12 people here, and I didn't even notice. Two thumbs up, 12 people. Make that make sense. Good morning. Two thumbs up, 12 people. 20 people, two thumbs up. If y'all go thumbs up this video, what's up, family? Hey, life with Jennifer. Good morning. Hey, I'm, being, I'm, I'm early today. Good morning to you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Hey, T.Y., what's up, boo? Hey, Andrea. Adrian, I'm sorry. Hey, Lee Diamonds. How you doing today? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's beautiful, y'all. But I like I like when the weather change. I could do on the couch. Hey, Miss Fifi. I could do on the couch outside. Hey, Pamela. How you doing? Thank you, T.Y. Boo. Hey, Miss Ernest. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Micah. Hey, Brandon. Is that my son, Brandon? I have no idea. Hey, Miss Reese. <laughs> hey, Miss Hughes. Um, God. Hey, Miss Pittman. Hey. Hey, Miss Robertson. Thank you. Life is good right now. Things is going well. Hey, Lisa. Good morning, honey. What's up, y'all? All right. We got a house full. 62 people. 19 thumbs up. Okay. Um. Hey, Shorty Red. How you doing? Okay, we're going to do what we always do. If you haven't done it today, if you haven't done it in a month, if you haven't done it in a week, what's up, Miss Rita? We're going to say what? we like to thank God. Okay? we like to thank God for waking us up, letting us spend another day with our family and friends because that long clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hello? Yeah, that's what go on some sea vlogs. You ain't know that all the time? I on your regular time right? No, I been on the couch. When I started the blogs, I made on the couch the strictly food. I made on, um, you know, Soul Petite Challenge just strictly food. My son say, this one of my children. And Brandon, because Brandon in here got his notification. They watch, they want us. I say, you on, you on Soul Petite Vlogs. We know this. Hey, hey, Jacker, 1645, how you doing? All right, guys, so quick, we're going to do some quick updates, quick announcements. An announcement that's very important to me. Hey, Miss Norman, is the, hey, Lenora, is that uh, a young lady hit me up about her flower. Sorry, I'm not going to blame them. I ain't going to blame them. A young lady hit me up about her flower, and it showed in the system that the flower had went out. It showed in the system that the flower was delivered. But she said she never got it. So I offered to send it to her again because, you know, it wasn't my fault. It was, it, it went out. The computer said, the post office said it was delivered, but she never got it. So I want to send it to her, but, you know, I have no memory. And I've been checking my, me and her had a good conversation on the phone. Very nice young Soul Squad member. And I've been checking my, um, text messaging because we talked through text messaging all that stuff i can't find her number i can't remember her name i know she probably thinking oh y'all it's 12 o'clock hit a horn hit the emergency siren i can't think of her i was i've been going through my um do text messages leave or something i don't know 
but I can't find her. So, baby, if you out here, hey, C Blue, and hey, Mo Thomas, and you watching this, please contact me again through text message. You got my number. We're talking through text message. I want to send that out to you because post office would make me so mad. But, honey, I can't remember your name because I got so many people. I can't remember your name. I've been scrolling through the text messages. I can't find out text message or nothing. So please contact me again, whoever you are. Hey, I'm DC Kool-Aid. Hey, Mika. Um, so yeah, please contact me. That's, that's, that's very important to me because, you know, customer service is key. The customer service is key. So I, I want to I wanna do that for you. And but I just can't remember. I can't remember, baby. Okay. Second thing, I was saying that Andrew had an announcement. Hey, Carla, and everybody was in the chat saying this, saying that. It was so funny. I was reading, her, but and a lot of you guys are right. A lot of you guys, you got you guys hit the nail, hit the nail. First of all, y'all know our story with Andrew. We struggled through him through. Through, um military academy do in and out of the high school all you guys know andrew's story from the time i've been on this on the couch how much trouble i had getting andrew to school and graduate and then you know he ended up he did he stuck in there his teacher stuck in there with me i stuck in there with him and we ended up getting him graduating from high school um you know right now he he worked for amazon prime but he, he just got a new job my baby ended up getting um Oh, uh, thank you, Mo Thomas. He he been he worked for Amazon Prime probably like for five or six months now. Um, he love it, and then he ended up getting two more job offers to pay more money. He actually had to sit and decide on which job offer to take, and he narrowed it down to one. And he um just wait for all his information to get finished. He got a new job. He got a new girlfriend. He been going with for about maybe six months. Beautiful young lady. And I got a new grandbaby on the way. Y'all got a new grandbaby. I got a new grandbaby on the way. Yeah, so I'm like, wow. So thank you, everybody who say it's a baby. Yes, it's a baby. And you know, at first I was like, a baby? Mm, and I ain't gonna lie, like every parent, I had my mishaps because he's only 23. And you know, he's just feeling himself and getting into his own and everything. But you know what? At the end of the day, I, I can't I, I, I can't run nobody's life. I can't I can only give suggestions and mentor and guide them in the right direction. With everything that I've been going through with Andrew, I you know, I just feel as so, though, you know, it is what it is. Um, he's been doing really well. He's been doing really great. He, him, his girlfriend about to get an apartment together. Once he started a new job before the baby is born, they're going to be in their own place. They looking to, um, get that. He trying to get his own apartment. So, um, I, I think, you know, I say, you know what? It is what it is. He gonna be 23 in September. You know, he, 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 he doing what he want to do for his work. And, you know, so yeah, grandbaby number three. I hope it's a girl because God that blessed me with all these boys. Now let these women that they get with bless me with all my daughters. Um, no. And that's another thing. Him moving to Atlanta is out the door. Because unfortunately, just like my other sons, they not going to leave their children. You know, we've been there, done that, and it was me. You know, fathers, if they're not with me, they're not going to be a part of my son's life. Or they're not going to take care of their sons, or they don't reach out to them. And the one father that was here, you know, we went through so much. So, at the end of the day, I got three baby daddies. So, at the end of the day, um, no, he's not. Because, you know, he got a family now. So, huh. Update number three. I am moving, but it won't be June. I am moving, but it won't be June. And that's just because trying to pay current bills, trying to pay off bills, and running a current household, and trying to save money to move, 
my my funds just this wasn't looking right for the month of June. So I am still moving, but it just won't be June. And no, Andrew is not coming with me because his girl, she's a native DC. She's a daddy girl. She don't want to leave her parents. And so he gonna do, he gonna do what he gotta do. Cause like he said, he not leaving his baby and then he not leaving his new relationship. So they looking for a part. By the time the baby's born, they gonna have their apartment. And everything so when everything does happen it's just it's just me and jackson <laughs> and my other son oh my god so <laughs> i'm just like thank you vanessa so i'm just like dang maybe i end up uh, another one may not come when they're not ready to go i uh, thank you lean but yeah so no angie won't be moving because now he has a family and, and and i respect that you don't leave your family so yeah hey so we see everyone hey tracy so yeah so yeah so i'm excited baby due in december we're gonna have the baby shower in either october or november um so yeah I'm excited and everybody doing well. God has blessed us. You know, again, allow everybody in my home to wake up to see another day. He had blessed me with another uh, grandchild. And, you know, you know, and, and I'm so sad that my mom isn't here. Y'all, let me just tell y'all a quick story. I need some help. My my one sister, you know, I, I when I got another doctor's appointment in um June. I just went to doctor we're not gonna doctor April, y'all. So I got my you know follow up appointment in June. When I go to the doctor in June, I'ma see can I get some anxiety medicine. I need to get on anxiety medicine. Um, because I had a whole thing yesterday a whole i had a whole thing yesterday and i'm gonna tell you guys about it because some people may experience anxiety and don't know and don't know exactly they, they may have these symptoms and don't know exactly what it is panic attacks anxiety i call it panic attacks i call it anxiety well the doctor want to call it she need to give me some pills for it um it's either the either air or because i had a whole episode i haven't had an episode in a minute i had a whole episode yesterday so and and, and i'ma tell y'all the story now i said think about it the the shit is funny sugar honey i see it's funny huh yeah you look nice oh uh, come say hi andrew no come say hi no come here oh it's right look, look look at you y'all look at my baby that's andrew come here andrew look at you oh you smell good too look y'all you drink go to target mm -hmm. Say hi. hi. They gonna say congratulations. Congratulations. Cause I told them that we about to have um oh. yes, we about to have another one. Yeah, that's why I said too. He came right out the door. <laughs> he let go to Target. Oh, cause you know he be driving, so that boy always love getting behind the wheel of a car. <laughs> um, so uh, he smells so good. He look good too. I ain't trying to brag. I got some handsome sons. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out. All right. So, um, so what I was saying, I'm just being funny, y'all. You know, I, I, I'm being funny. <laughs> um, so I thought I want to touch on that and plus another subject. So I'm just going to address what happened to me last night because at the end of the day, people may be going through this and not knowing exactly what it is or, um, what you feeling or, or, or what to, um, what to call it. Oh, what to call it when you're going through it. Oh, thank you. And and, and his little girlfriend, she's Hawaii, Asia. She's from Hawaii or something. They call her Lilo. She's she's very pretty. Um, she's a she she part Asian, part something. And she was born and stuff in Hawaii. Yeah, I don't know where they be finding these girls at. I don't know. Okay. Um, but she's a very she's very, very nice. Hopefully you guys get to meet her one day. Um and so, um, what else do they say? Uh, so, you may be going through this. And you may not know what it is. 
and you may not understand what it is. So yesterday I had a bad one. I, and I had it because I think maybe because I was by myself. And you guys know I do drive. I am not the best driver. I'm a nervous driver. And, you know, when I don't know when I'm going to get lost, I, I get blurred up. So yesterday with my nephew. Oh, congratulations to my nephew, Tyreek. He is graduating out of high school. His prom was yesterday. He had a beautiful send-off from my cousin's house. Um, a beautiful send-off. From... Congratulations, Wanda. I don't know what for, but I want to be a part of the congratulations party. I didn't, I, I didn't read what's going on, but whatever's going on, baby, congratulations to you. Um, and, um, he had a beautiful center on. We didn't. I didn't vlog because he really didn't want to be on camera and stuff. So it wasn't my event. You know, I I respect that. Um, uh, but um, it was beautiful. He looked it good and everything. So congratulations to my nephew. Uh, congratulations to my nephew. Um, I didn't get a chance. You know, but uh, hey, Monique, how you doing? So let me tell y'all my journey to get to my cousin's house. She lives in. The other side of Northeast or the Rhode Island Avenue. Okay, I went by myself. I made Rotel dip and had to take cupcakes and stuff. So I took the drive by myself. For one, I don't use GPS because GPS confuses me. I People say, why you don't use GPS? I can't use GPS. GPS made me more nervous. It confuses me. It get me fluttered. Um, secondly, I was by myself. And hey, Kitty, I was by myself. So, to make a long story short, I knew how to get there because I've been to my cousin's house plenty of times. But I knew how to get there to a certain point. Once I got to the point that I knew, I was like, man, which direction I go? I said, I think I go this way. So, as I was going towards the direction I made that left off Rhode Island Avenue, I end up missing my turn. And when I, because I did, I wasn't for sure where I was supposed to turn at. So I end up missing my turn. And by me missing my turn, it sent me into a panic because I had to keep going straight up over the hill and I didn't know where I was going to. And I started holding the wheel tight. I, I, my eyes filled up with tears. My heart stopped beating. I stopped praying to God and I was banging on the wheel and I got so hysteric and I was like and I and I'm, I was shaking and I was like I didn't know what to do I was I was talking to God you know it's like please help me I don't know what to do I don't please don't do this to me I don't know where I'm going I said oh my god and I had called Ted but she didn't answer the telephone so my phone was just sitting there in the passenger side seat and I'm breathing and, and tears in my eyes and then and then it didn't make it so good because then I was next to the then I was next to the um I was next to the cemetery where my mom was at. Then I started thinking about my mother. Then I started crying about my mother, talking to her and telling God, I don't believe she's not here with me. She's not seeing this. Andrew about to have a baby. Tyree graduating. Then I start crying about that so i'm driving i'm crying i'm holding the wheel i'm talking to god i'm hitting the wheel and then as i was coming up over the, like i was going back towards over to third street tunnel it was a car accident i don't want to say thank you for that accident but i said i thank god just was just just heard my prayers because by being an accident i was able to whip Follow this other car to whip and make a U-turn because that North Capitol Road out of Avenue area is so congested with people and cars. It's no way that you could really flip around without just like going somewhere else. I don't know, but um, oh no, I had a bad drive yesterday, and when I got and then when I finally was able to make the U-turn and get to my cousin's street. I stopped panicking again because I didn't know where to turn left, turn right, and I didn't see nothing. And then all of a sudden, I saw people on a, down in the middle of the block, and I looked, and I said, oh, okay, that's them. And then I turned, and then once I saw everybody outside, it's like a big relief came on me. I was able to breathe, but T had to, T had to park my car for me, and I had to get it out. I was shaking. Y'all, it was such... I had a bad panic attack yesterday. I had a 
bad experience driving yesterday and then it then it, it happened to coming home because i i don't like driving at night and i didn't leave till about 8 30 quarter to nine so on the way home um i got in the wrong lane and then i had to turn around ended up in this gas station almost drove off almost drove off the curb up on the gas station i had to reverse and come back y'all I, I that shit fucked me up so bad last night. I said, I'll excuse it for family. I'm grown, but this how I felt. That shit fucked me up so bad yesterday. That panic attack messed me up so bad. I felt like, should I even get behind the wheel again and drive until I get some medicine? That's just, hey, Ty, that's just how I, um, that's how I felt. It was really, it, it was like, and my brother, um, so my brother was like, my brother Antoine was there. My sister, everybody was like, my cousin said, I need you to go get some medicine. They got medicine for that. And so um, then they said, then you make yourself more upset when you get upset. Yeah, it is. And so I'm just like, should I even freaking drive anymore? It was, it was just a, but it, I didn't, what it was is that the fear of the unknown, I didn't know where i was going to so that's why i said should i drive anymore i questioned myself and i said no i said Cause it, was, it was about the nervousness the nervousness the nervousness or the nerves somebody help me out it was about the fear of the unknown not knowing my sense of direction or where i was going at that's the only time i had pen attacks when i get nervous and scared when i when i when i feel that i'm getting lost when driving and and and, and, and my nerves sink in and i panic and i breathe and my heart race and, and you know and i talk to god and i start and my and i then i start to cry and i starts to cry um so it's not i don't think it's really about the driving it was the fear of the unknown it was a fear of not knowing my sister direction or where I was going to. Because I, I think I told any of you guys this before. Yeah, thank you. Wow, Juanita. Thank you, Juanita. And um, so and then and, and then just FYI, Andrew was in the car with me on the way back. Um, Andrew was in the car with me on the way back. And Andrew did want him to drive. Andrew kept saying, Mom, let me drive. I could get us there. Let me drive. He said, Mom, pull over. Let me drive. And I said, no. I said, I'm doing this. I don't want you to drive. And, and the reason why I don't want him to drive because he's a new driver. He's only been driving for three months. And I'm trying to explain to him that that will mess with my anxiety because you're a new driver and it's going to make me nervous. I know the one time I took him out driving, it made me nervous. And I never took him back driving again. But he did end up getting his driver's license. But um, and I said, And I had to keep telling Andrew, please stop i said let me concentrate because i'm holding the wheel tight and i said please stop i said let me concentrate stop asking me to pull over stop asking behind the wheel i said because allowing you to get behind the wheel it's going to make me even more messed up i said so just i said just calm down and let me do this and so he stopped and and i calmed down to his like yeah we made it home and then when i got on minnesota avenue towards my home I got more relaxed. I would, I breathe. Yeah, I was so messed up that my stomach was. I had cramps in my in my stomach. I gave myself the bubbles. My stomach was rolling. It was cramping. I had bubbles in my stomach. Made me go to the bathroom. I'm telling y'all everything. That's how bad this whole my whole experience yesterday was. Just totally terrible. It, it was totally terrible, and I was like, yeah. I can't do GPS. GPS make it worse because I'm not good with following direction. See, this is what I used to do back in the day. I used to, if I knew I was going somewhere that I wasn't familiar with, I, the day before, I used to do, I used to map out my location. So when I know I'm going somewhere, I figure out in my head on how the route that I'm going to take. Hey Luther, or what I do is that um I'll go and the day before I'll go drive to where I gotta go to. I'll take somebody with me who know how to read a GPS and take me there and then 
I'll map out the day before. So when I'm ready to go to it the next day, I have no issue because I went there the day before and I know how to get there. So um, I didn't map it out. So I used to do that too. So y'all, it, it was this. So when I got there, but I got there safe, they got home safe. Child, it was a whole thing. I, had not, I did not have a pen attack like that. Hey, Vicky, in a long time. It was a it was just a whole situation. Uh, that's like what you do, Miss Pittman. Yeah, and I said I'm. That's why I'm gonna start back doing it again. I'm gonna start back doing it again. So anybody, if you ever felt like that and you didn't know, hey Danielle. Okay, I will, baby. Um, uh, and if you didn't know, it's called a panic attack or anxiety. I don't know if I got a little bit of both or which one I got, but I can so when I go to the doctors. Yes, it hang yes. Um when I go to the doctors, I'ma have them um <laughs> she said if you could drive in New York and Atlanta, you could drive anywhere. <laughs> hey Shadonna. Hey girl, that's just how I say it's panic attack. Yeah, so when I go to my doc's appointment next month, I'm most definitely gonna be I'm I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm getting peeled up. I'm getting peeled up. I'm getting peeled up. That's all. That's all this what it is. So I just wanted to touch on that to let you guys know in case somebody go through that. You don't know what it is and what's going on with your body and how you feeling. And you know, you're not alone with that. A lot of a lot of some people experience that. And like I said, I just had a whole vibe, a whole thing yesterday. Uh listen to the GBS talk. Your GP, your, your anxiety calls you had panic attack. Yes, okay. So, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So, what I want to talk about today, that's the first segment of On the Couch. I want to talk about the panic attacks and this and then the other. And, you know, they can't, I hear from people that, you know, they can be managed, you can overcome. Thank you, Juanita. And you can overcome. Yes, y'all. Go hit that thumbs up. What's wrong, y'all? It's free, Leah. Hey, Leah. Hey, Terrell. It's free. Hit that thumbs up. It helps with them coins. <laughs> so, okay. Y'all ready? I wrote this down so I won't forget. Because I got to be knowing sometimes. What I'm going to talk about when I get on, on the couch. We got to have a good subject we got to talk about something and the reason why i decided to go with this because a conversation i had with somebody i said no baby that was a mistake that was a decision i'm not going to tell you their information because that's that that's their information but their information and our conversation made me want to talk about this and i said baby i said and i was real with this person i said you know that was a mistake right and he was like what you mean a family friend I was talking to. I said, that wasn't a mistake. That was a decision. Let's talk about mistakes. <laughs> so I said, I rebuked medication over a long period of time. Everyone kind of anxiety. And, and, and okay. I want to talk about when you use the word a mistake, you overflow the glass of milk. You drop and broke a glass. You um got to your doc's appointment on the wrong day. Or you got there too early. When I think of the word mistake, I think of stuff like that. I think about things like that. You waste over milk. You got somewhere um on the wrong day you know you're supposed to be there tomorrow but you came today you made a mistake that's what i think about when you cheat on somebody that's not a mistake that's a decision and everything that you do in life comes with consequences cheating to me is not a mistake that is a decision you decided you knew what you were doing. You went for it. And you said, F what's going to happen behind it. 
to me, I believe mistakes and decisions are different. I just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys about that because, oh, uh, thank you, Miss Tony, because I don't, um, I, I don't, I don't, and we, and what we do, when we, when we use the word mistake, we use it when things don't go our way. My, my cousin, I was talking to my cousin, and she said, well, you know, I really don't like use the word mistake either. She said, a lot of people tend to use the word mistake because they don't get what they want or things don't go their way. But in the day, you made a decision to do something. No, well, you know, he said, I understand you can't disagree, and you're right. Everybody's has their appointment. Uh, a decision, a mistake, a decision can make make, make, make a mistake. But and, and I, I just don't know. Just like my cousin said, somebody said, um, do you think it was a mistake to, to move? No, it wasn't a mistake because I did it on purpose. I made a decision to move. So I don't see it as a mistake. Thank you, Lee. Um, so... It, it, it's kind of complicated it can but it, it to for me because i have used the word mistake so many times in doing things <laughs> okay <Ty. laughs> i had used the word mistakes so many times and i had to reflect back on that word because we don't use it in a good we don't use it in the right content um uh, mistakes is when you get caught up it depends on what you're getting caught up in. Because at the end of the day, that mistake was your decision. You know what I'm saying? So it can't, couldn't have been a mistake because you knew what you was going to do. So you decided to do whatever it is that you now going to call it a mistake because either or you got caught in it. It was you were you were you was being sneaky or you weren't supposed to be doing that. So now since it did we go and this is what I'm talking about. Since it didn't go your way, the outcome didn't outweigh the decision that you made. You're now gonna flip it and say it was a mistake, but it's only a mistake because it didn't go the way you wanted to go. So you're gonna because you know people forgive mistakes, people understand mistakes mistakes are mistakes are mistakes are given you know what i'm saying people forgive them they understand them decisions can not be forgiven too much because at the end of the day i'm looking at a decision that has a terrible outcome a consequence and i'm looking at you you decide to do that you when you when you decide to do something when you make a decision, you decide to do it. That means you thought about your situation. You thought about what you're going to do, and you went with it. And mistakes are a choice. That's right, Leah. So these are all the words. These are all co-words. These are all words that people use. Um, choice, mistake, decisions. These are all words that we use to, to help us get out of whatever situation because of that decision we made. To do what we was doing. And stuff backfired on you. And so that's how I wanted that. And I was like. Mm, should I talk about that? Should I touch on that? After six months. <laughs> not speak on marriage. He's not interested. Oh y'all talk about something. Hey see Brent Blue. And so yeah. So that's how I was talking about. I was like what do you think? You know. Do y'all think. Um. Mistakes and decisions are the same thing. I don't put them in the same category, I, especially if you've grown. But even with children, because they're developing and they're learning, and they have to learn when you make a decision, there's consequences behind it, and you sit and you talk. I mean, we're talking at seven and eight years old. Kids the kids make decisions too and then they and you know when we talk to our babies and we and we they get in trouble for something, they be like, sorry, mommy, it was a mistake. Mistake. No, baby. Let me pull you to the side. I told you not the color on that wall. I told you the color in your coloring book. I come back in the room. My wall is flustered with color. It was not a mistake. It was your decision. And since it was your decision 
You're seven, eight, four, five, or six. We got to start teaching our babies. We got to start teaching them so they can be productive adults. So they can know as they get older what they need to do in life. You know, so when they do make these decisions that they're making, they're making the right ones. You know what I'm saying? So even with a child that young, we have to talk to them. Sometimes we have to talk to our kids as if they're a little bit older, but also talk to them in a way where they will understand what they just did. And so when you talk to this um four and five year old child and you done told them three or four times not to write on the wall you say this is what you got the coloring book for and you come back your wall is fluttered with coloring and then you look at this child this child want to give you the sad doe eyes it was a mistake no I'm not accepting that. You know they melt your heart they're your children but we can't accept that. I have to tell you now guess what because you made a decision because it was a mistake you were warned. You were told not to do this. But you decided, I'm going to do it anyway. That's a decision, not a mistake. So as your mom, I'm going to have to show you what consequences are. Taking the crayons from you for a week. Bam. Now you know. And that will make them, as they grow up, reflect on what, you know, what which directions, again, what choice to make. Yeah, I talk to my 12-year-old daughter like she's 23. Yeah, because you got to help them understand the, um, life, man. We got to help them understand life. And I'm saying, as these years go on, as um, we get... I'm going to take these beds off. I'm not going to read y'all comments too much. These glasses make me sweat. Y'all, I'm sitting out on this porch, and I trust believe yesterday, it was like 90-something degrees. It's going to be 90-something degrees today, and I love doing on the couch for a change of atmosphere. But, honey... It's hot out here, okay? So, as 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 they become into adult, because I'm tell you, life is not gonna get any easy for anybody. We got a new generation of kids that's growing up. We gotta we gotta parent them better. We gotta be we gotta mentor them better and everything. You know what I'm saying? What's that? And um, so because things are getting hard, life is not getting any more. It's not getting easier. You know what I'm saying? The easy road, taking the easy road or doing this or doing that. That's 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 over with. We gotta prepare our kids for what's to come. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just like just let them know on let them know about choices and mistakes and decisions. And you know, come to them as a parent, teach them. We got to teach them because that's what I'm doing with my granddaughters now. Even with my boys, I don't know if I did that when they were coming up, you know. They're my, they're my heart. So when they told me they made a mistake, I accepted it. Because they're your children. So you're going to accept it. But in a day, it depends on what type of mistake it was. Because I need to know that you made a mistake or you made a choice or a decision. Because then we're going to have to talk. You know, we're going to have to talk. So that's why I wanted to talk on today because I got another part. Remember, this is going to be a three-part situation. Because that third-part situation, I, I, I want to talk about that i heard through the grapevine and i allegedly heard because i don't be on instagram like that and i was like i don't know what i do and it's about knowing your family i i want to take we to talk about knowing your family so i'm gonna leave that with you guys that for me i when someone tell me they made a mistake i think about that situation i think about well, what's the mistake you made and then I'll let them know whether or not you did a choice or you did a decision. That wasn't a mistake. The mistake is because you, it didn't go your way. So now you want to use a word that's going to get you out of whatever that you did. It's going to get someone to forgive you and stuff. And I believe that's what that word, that's what that word do. That word pulls on your heart. It pulls on, it pulls on people's emotion. Um, thank you. Let me, let me see. I was sweating in these glasses. I miss Miss Teresa. Oh yes, sir, I'll be your first time in DC. Yes, I can't wait. Oh yeah, guys, get y'all meet and greet tickets. I ain't trying to be funny because like I told you guys, at the end of the day, the meet and greet is not profitable for me. It's not a it's not a profitable decision. I did this and I'm charging for it so that we can have plenty of food. We can have plenty of music and we can have plenty of fun. So at the end of the day, it's not a profitable decision for me. Y'all, y'all gotta get these tickets. I only sold 10. I wanna meet the Soul Squad. 
Even if just come to one event. I want to meet you guys. I want to have fun. I want to get to know the person behind the um behind this um your your little avatar and everything. But you know what? And I do understand times is hard and times is tough. And I understand it because that's one of the reasons why. I haven't moved yet because paying current bills and trying to go on vacations or do this and do that it's rough but i hope that a lot of you guys really get the ticket so far it's going to be a small meet and greet so far but it's, it's going to be up there to july the first but we're going to have fun like i said i don't care if one person did it i'm going to i'm at a, a non-refundable spot so we're going to do we're going to do but i wish more y'all can come the, oh don't forget the raffle is going to be on saturday the first saturday in june y'all the first saturday in june the first saturday in june the raffle giveaway that i'm gonna give away two tickets to one person so you know because somebody might want to bring somebody with them and it's not just for one event, it's for both events. So the tickets will get you into it is a $65 um a $65 prize. And a ticket will get you both your parties, both people into both events on August the 13th and August the 14th. I just got the cameraman squared away on yesterday. Boom, boom. So we're going to be not, um, it's going to be, he's going to be around there snapping shots because at the end of the day, like I did my first meet and greet, I'm going to do a little um, camera roll video just to put up there for everybody to see what's going on and everything and stuff. But um, yeah, because I really want to meet you guys. So let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, they are opportunities to learn. You're right. It's, it's a whole lot. So the COVID case I bought up, man, so I suggest it again. You can do a Zoom and charge. <laughs> See, COVID case, yeah, and that's too. And let me remind everybody, my event is mass mandatory. Um, I did tell people if you're eating or if you're playing a physical activity, of course, you make you can't keep your mask on because you're eating unless you're going to put your food in your mouth, put your mask back up and chew. That's your choice. But if you're eating, I do understand that mask will be off. And if you're playing a physical activity like running or playing baseball or kickball, whatever we're going to be doing out there, I understand your mask can't be on because you're going to be huffing and puffing. You got, whew, you got to get your breath. But... If you're not doing a physical activity, if you're not eating, I am. I will be. People may not like me. I'll be like having a sign. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. You know, and it's and it's and it's for your safety. And that's why I understand when people was getting hurt by asking people to put their mask on in in restaurants or in places, and people was getting hurt or getting into arguments. Why are you mad that somebody care about you? I mean, it's your safety. It's my safety. It's other people's safety. What's the hang up? Make it make sense for me. What you mad for? So yeah, so yeah, most definitely. And I'm gonna have masks there. I'm gonna have masks there, sanitize this and all this other stuff. And can't you leave your hotel fast and be like, damn, I ain't got a mask, don't worry. We're gonna have masks there for you and all that stuff. So it is and it's it's about having fun and us getting together and getting to see each other and having fun and hopefully we could do this thing every year you know if you can't make it this year and then we talk about everybody talk about all the fun we had and lord willing uh that's backwards so but see what's backwards Ty, tell me, I, I can see what you're saying there. But um, I'm going to have masks there. So if you actually leave your hotel or you ain't got none, it'll be there. A lot of people are doing things on Zoom. But we can't Zoom the food. Thank you, Terrell. We can't Zoom the food. <laughs> No, anybody ever seen them um the movie Cinderella with uh well uh, uh the movie Cinderella with Drew Barrymore and her stepsister, the good stepsister who end up coming for um her wedding or something at the end, she told the dude, I only came for the food. People only coming for the food. <laughs> So we can't zoom the phone, but the zoom is a good idea. It is, but I don't think, yeah, but it's a good idea. But we can't zoom the food, man. I love that movie, um, um, Cinderella. That was a good one with you, Barry Moore. That's one of my favorite Cinderellas, that and Brandy's. They bring their own food. 
I know that's right, Leah. <laughs> Masks don't work. I don't know what work, what don't work. Whatever you feel comfortable to protect yourself, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm not the, um, the I don't want to say the FADC or the whoever, the health department, whatever. I, I, I'm just going to do what makes me comfortable. I'm comfortable if you got a mask on. You're comfortable if you got a mask on. Shit, put a mask on, put a shield on. It's up to you. But it will be some type of protection to make people. But well, we want people to feel comfortable in the environment. You know what I'm saying? We want people to feel comfortable in the environment at the end of the day. And I want people to have fun and enjoy themselves and get to know each other in person uh, like that. It's the. Uh, it's a currency. I wear masks in my head and it works. <laughs> And you know, oh, thank you, Tanya. Girl, this is an old one. Pull her out the pull her out the closet, honey. You know, you gotta pull her out the closet. Hey, LZO Studio 2 Vlogs. We gotta pull them out the closet. Y'all, so my cousin Vanessa, I'm not gonna give y'all the um YouTube channel yet, but because she's in the middle of making all her videos. She wanna make some videos before she put them up. My cousins finally come to YouTube. Remember I told everybody I got a Vanessa, everybody need one. My cousin's family come to YouTube. Um, she live in the Atlanta area and uh she she's finally coming to YouTube. And once she me and her was working on thumbnails last night, I was showing her how to do thumbnails through canvas. Uh, I was actually <laughs> tens coming over too, but I could give her um a 20 minute class on how to do the free thumbnails and canvas. I learned myself, you know, I used to work with my girl SA Graphics, but at this time, everything is so hard and trying to save money and all this stuff. I have to try to learn to do things myself because I'm penny pinching these every coin I get these days. So um, I went on YouTube and I learned how to make the graphics. They're not the best, but um, I'm learning and um, so I gave my cousin a whole YouTube class. So the last two days, I'm gonna give a YouTube class to my cousin, tell her how to hold a camera, what to do, um, how to um, read her analytics, what she need to do. I, I was I trained her last night. We was up to one o'clock in the morning on Canvas, and I was, um, I was showing her how to um, work Canvas. I even made a thumbnail. I made her first thumbnail folder, sent it to her. I said she could use it. Or she, or, or you could use it, or you could cre recreate another one. I'm supposed to help her again today once she get finished doing what she doing. Go back to Canvas and try to teach her step by step on how to do it. Tim supposed to come over one day this week. I told her she could take a 20 minute class with me, and I could teach her how to do um. Um, teach her how to make a thumbnail. I'm actually supposed to make her thumbnail today. So when y'all get her video, her cleaning her closet, I'm the one that's going to make the thumbnail. So she's um. She sent me over her footage for I can make her thumbnails a day. And she said she want to come and take um, the class. Oh, Danielle, let me know, girl, when you get here. I most definitely could meet you somewhere. So she's coming over, and I'm going to show her how to do it. It's a cousin child, $25 years so old, and I took her class with 100 people. Yeah. But see, all the reason... I just tell people stuff because I don't know a lot. I don't know a lot about, um, about, um, I know a little bit of something, but I don't think I know a lot to charge people to take a class and because I won't be comfortable with it. So I just try to just give out advice. So I give advice out to my family members and, um, uh, you know, tell them to pick a name, a catchy name. <coughs> Tell them to make the name catchy but short. Nothing too long. Um, decide what your page want to be about. Um, decide what your page want to be about. And try to stick with that uh, until, you, until, you, until you grow a fan base. Uh, I mean, for your meet and greet. Oh, okay, Leah. And, and, you know, and I just give out a little bit of information. I'm not that good at it to, um, <coughs> to really charge. What my water at? So I like helping my family because I'm because I'm going to make my family YouTubers. They just don't know. I'm going to make them. And so she ready because she got a whole child, a dog in her living in Atlanta. I said, girl, they ain't nothing but money. I say, I'm be honest because everybody doing it, trying to get a part time job, do something in between. And eventually you want this to be your full time job. And I already explained to her that it's not easy. 
Don't give up. It's not going to happen overnight. Some of the best people um, takes forever. It took me forever. Oh, y'all. Guess what? We have 7,000 subscribers. Can we say woo-woo? Woo-woo. We at 7,000 subscribers here on the Sober Tea Vlogs, y'all. We at 7,000 subscribers. What are y'all talking about? And we only been on this platform for how long? How long been doing Sober Tea Vlog? It's been a year yet? I don't know if it's been a year yet. But y'all, we got to hit that 10,000 mark. We on our way to 7,000 subscribers. You know, we're going to get them because I'm about to to start doing things okay i'm about to start doing things i got um a facial thing coming up gotta get rid of all this hair i'm about to hit the um thing me and jackson are going to the laundry mat i gotta get i pulled out all my blankets and my big blankets and stuff i can't wash at home i got some laundry mat footage coming up i got some um go i go get my granddaughter some summer clothes we can't i didn't even think about it truly that's something we can add in there. Um, we could, I didn't even think about it. Actually, I won't do it. Or if we do, I won't do it on Sunday. On Saturday. I would do it on Sunday at the brunch. It'll be more better, more comfortable because we're going to be indoor air conditioned facility. And I would do it on Sunday. Alive on the couch on Sunday while we at the brunch. Yes. Um, so yes, 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 bring cleaning and everything. So yes, yeah, so I got a lot of videos coming. I'm about to be more proactive on this channel. Um, I'm about to get out here more and no, I'm not gonna have a panic attack going to the stores I know how to get to. And then I only drive in the daytime. I'm only, I can't drive at night. So yeah, I want to be more proactive. Oh, uh, thank you, Terrell. Um, uh, so y'all. Let's talk about this last and final thing. And this is and this is not really, I'm just going to say, the last and final thing I wanted to bring to you guys, it's not really, we don't have to really conversate about it. You've been out in the garden all morning. Yes, yeah, it's, it's hot. I'm sweating right now. And I keep taking these glasses off because I'm sweating underneath the glasses. Um, This one was crazy. This one was crazy. I just want to hear y'all thoughts on this. What y'all would do. And people put so much of themselves out here on social media. They put everything on Facebook and Instagram. And if you put it out there, you know, people going to talk about it. Me, myself, I didn't see it. It was told to me. He said, let's talk about the government. <laughs> we'll never get off here. We talk about the government time. Because they all, they messed up in all types of ways and forms and shapes. Okay, <laughs> we got here in the DMV area. We got a comedian running for. Uh, we got a comedian running for mayor. We got a um, somebody from Red Essex running for city council man. <laughs> Cause they ain't getting his total amount of food stamps. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> okay, so um, my cousin told me but she said you see this shit on instagram i was like what because you know i'm not instagram savvy even though i'm I, they say i'm a social media influencer i don't see myself as that i see myself i get on this platform i have fun but um she said this girl put on instagram as of the day my heart is broken my world is torn apart and i was like what her heart broken her world tore apart I said, what happened? She said, girl. So, she been in a relationship for five years. She been in a relationship for five years. Love this man. This man loves her. They finally about to have their baby. His father isn't part of his life. Her father isn't part of her life since they having the baby shower she want to give her dad to do the things that he didn't get to do with her you know let's make it up with the grandchild let's the grandchild be part of the life father is invited to the baby shower if you know where i'm going with this you your mind good father was invited to the baby shower 
they get to the baby shower. I guess let's just say they having fun. I don't know what happened. They get to the baby shower. I don't know how long it took before they discovered this thing at the baby shower. But when they get to the baby shower, boyfriend walks over to girlfriend, five year relationship girlfriend, pregnant girlfriend, did all kinds of things in the bed to make this baby happen type girlfriend. Who reached out to my father? She said, huh? She said, he said, who reached out to my father? My father is here. She said, where your father at? She said, I didn't reach out. Maybe your mother, somebody. Who reached out to your father? She said, where your father at? He said, right there. She said, she looked at him and said, that's my father. I'm take a drink. Five year relationship. Five years. Five years. Baby on the way. You saw this Leah on Instagram. Baby on the way. They sisters and brothers. Know your family. Know your family. We don't know our family family anymore what would you do what would you do your baby daddy your brother your baby's father and your baby's uncle can you imagine what would you do huh What? What's the name? Name of what? No, I just got we got called Vanessa. My then I got said my cousin saw it on Instagram. I know somebody said those be urban legends. You gotta show it. <laughs> I don't know. Then somebody else told me, oh no, I saw that on Instagram too. And that's why I say, do these things that people put on Instagram, do they be treat? Because that's true. That's deep as heck. That's deep. And I was like, are people messing up? Are they doing this for real? Are these real life stories? You know, is this true? I don't know if it's a true, if it's a story or what it was. It was there on social media. A girl heart was broken. And she didn't say what the outcome was or what she going to do. She just said her world was just destroyed today. That would destroy your world. Mess up your mental. Send you into suicidal mode. Oh, that, that, that would just completely just tear me up. First of all, the relationship is over. The I don't care how much I love him. I don't care. Baby's in the stomach. The relationship is over. Just for the fact, anything is possible. Yes, Ty. Just for the fact, just knowing you, my brother, I couldn't do it. See, Karen said it happened to my cousin. When they were younger but no kids. The relationship is over. Will he still be part of the child life? Of course. Everybody needs their father. Their father uncle. Everybody need their father uncle. Everybody need a um a, re a male role model in their life. This is why this thing happened. Because there was no male role model in their life. There was no... Oh, I looked at our father, Lois. Man, we got to talk about that one next week. I looked at our father. That thing was a hot mess. Um, And you got to know your family. There are a lot of missing dads in, 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 out here. And we got to remember, these are missing dads. There are missing siblings out here, missing family members out here, and all that stuff. If you don't know nobody and you might end up going with somebody and i and i fear that for my um for um my son andrew and my son fufu they had the same father but they don't know their sister i'm be, i'm being real i'm being truthful their father's not part of their life when i broke up with him he left 
See, he was the type of man, if I'm not with the mother, I'm going to still take care of my kids. So he wasn't that type of man. His thing was, if he wasn't with me, I'm gone. You know, there's no reason for me to be around, but there's still reason for you to be around. You, you got two kids here who need a father in their life. So there's still reasons to be around. But, you know, I let that go. But my kids have a sister that they don't know. They have a niece that they don't know. Maybe she didn't have more kids. I knew he had a daughter. Never got a chance to meet his daughter. Me and him was in a, a relationship and everything. You know, we were together and stuff, but we broke up because of cheating. You know, a nigga cheating. I'm working that night. This nigga cheating, taking my car, butting up with another bitch. She, he cheating. So when I found that out, I said, oh, no, brother, you got to go. I don't do that. I'm at work, working. My um, 9 o'clock at night to 7 o'clock in the morning job, you got my car, you got my job on time to pick me up in the morning, but in between time, you at night spend the night time with another person. And then when I confront, when I confront the little hussy about it, when I found out and I went snooping in the middle of the night and found her phone number, this little bitch, she going to tell me. I don't see how you're in a relationship with them and he spend the nights with me. I said, bitch, that's because I work at night. I work at night. That's how he in a relationship with you, only at night. Did you see him in the month of December? Because I took vacation for the whole month of December. He was home during the day, during the night and everything. I bet you ain't see him in the month of December. That's why I mean his that's why I mean they falling out together. I hate when I hate I hate when people when 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 other women think they doing something or they think they taking your man or they think that you can have him. Cause if he no good like that, he ain't gonna be no good with you either. Bye, he got to go. Oh, and that's my car. That's my minivan. So you'll be walking, bitch. And I hung the phone up. <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> hey, get <it. laughs> Yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, she did. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, like my sons. They don't know they sister. And I used to always say, it's a young lady out here in the DMV area that, um, but essentially, they may end up going with because we don't know who their sister is. You know what I'm saying? That's why we gotta uh you gotta um you 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 gotta know your family. You gotta know, you gotta know your family. Man. That's all I gotta say. You gotta know your family. <laughs> hey, David, hey, that's true. Yeah, so too. I still get fired up with that with, with that because that oh man, I'm tell you, when I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. This is one of the times when um <laughs> it is hot girls in London. This is one of the times when me and baby daddy, the one I tell you about that I was in a relationship the longest, we were apart. And you know, I had time to get two babies by another person. It yeah, I guess five dollars. It's like four fifty, five dollars. Depends if you're up northwest or what part of town. But it's anywhere between four seventy nine to five five dollars. Um, and um, it 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 is crazy, and that's why we not together. That's why we not. That's why we not together. But I, I think it um because it wasn't for him. Andrew wouldn't know how to sing. Fufu would not sing because they father knew how. They father knew how to sing. That's how he got me. Singing to me, bam my ass. That's how he got me singing. Man, sing the sing my draws right off. And I ain't gonna lie, that's exactly what he did. <laughs> I think about that exactly what he did, and that's what Andrew be doing before he got his relationship. <laughs> I be out in their room. I be out in their room. I be just be hearing Andrew singing, and I'll turn my and I and I and I'll turn my TV down. Whatever I got going on, liberal and um, I be like, why that boy in there singing? I be like, why Andrew singing? And 
this Bama being there on Instagram before he got his relationship, y'all. He been there singing to the girls on Instagram. He and you got girls that's on Instagram. He be in that room singing, y'all, on Instagram. And even, and it's so crazy because even when he played the game system and all that stuff, and he played with dudes all over the world, he even be singing on there because one of his friends is like, Andrew, hit a note for us. Hit, hit, hit something for us, Andrew. I mean, Andrew, you ain't here singing to a girl again? He's like, nah, he's like, I'm singing for my bros. They be telling me hit a note, so I'm hitting a note for him. I be like, oh, okay. Yeah, but that's what he did. But I, I, I let him sing his butt right on out the door. Ain't nothing like a woman who can sing. I let him sing himself right on out the door, y'all. Y'all, with that being said, honey child, it's hot. I got groceries to pick up. I got Amazon delivery. I got shop food warehouse delivery. And I'm going to go ahead and make a video of this delivery of this food I, um, that I'm seeing. Tell Andrew secrets. I'm <laughs> telling Andrew secrets. <laughs> yes, because... um. Y'all don't get a video because we we putting um, uh, my grass got cut and everything and um it's hot out here so we doing dinner on the grill. I told my son put the grill in the yard around about seven six o'clock. I'm doing we doing dinner on the grill. We wait till the sun go down about six o'clock. Love you guys. You guys have a safe and fabulous weekend. And so next Saturday, you guys be great. Go out there, be great somewhere. Because you guys are wonderful. Go out there. Oh, they didn't know. Sound. Ooh. Is it, can y'all hear me now? Can I hear y'all hear me now? No sound. That because somebody called me. Oh, it's my okay. My phone was on do not disturb. Why somebody called me? I understand. How do people come when you do put your phone on do not disturb? I had my phone on do not disturb. I understand how that happened. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. I was saying, have a great weekend. You guys go somewhere and be great. Because God woke you up this morning. He got a plan for you. And you guys are wonderful. So go somewhere and be great. Be fabulous. Enjoy this weather. I love. Oh, what I'm cooking on the grill? Just some hot dogs, hamburgers, and some barbecue chicken. Using that sofa tea barbecue sauce. So let me show you guys right here. There goes some of the groceries right there. I'm going to put them away. You see that package right there? You see that? We're waiting on the mailman that got that sofa tea barbecue sauce. Because if you didn't know, you better know your girl got her own honey barbecue sauce. That's a whole crate going out, sitting there waiting on the mailman. Mailman better pick my stuff up too. Sometimes I like the mailman to be here when I'm, when I'm out here. But that's a whole crate sitting right there with some of that sofa tea barbecue sauce right there. And it got flour in it too. We ain't gonna never leave out the OG. You know the OG is the flour. That's what I start with. Y'all go to Sofa Tea LLC. Get that barbecue sauce, that cookie mix, and that pound cake mix. Because orders are going out the door. Hey. I'm out. I love you guys. I gotta go. I need my egg edition. Yes, hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. I go get my egg edition. All right, y'all. Much love. Hey, Pete Davis. Hey, Rob. How you doing? Hey, Kern, I ain't speak to you today. What's up, boo? How you been, Kern? Thank you, Pamela. Y'all, low wife wasn't in the house today either. She must be out in these streets somewhere in Houston. Which one of y'all live in Houston? I think she live in Texas. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad. Hey, Life with Jennifer. I love you too, boo-boo. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Those are my boxes with my um my mailers and my barbecue sauce containers and all that stuff, y'all. I just got stuff everywhere. Y'all, I need a mansion. I need... 
I, I need some wear. I need a um uh, a shed. I need something. The pistol. I got stuff everywhere. Lord. Yeah, so y'all, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, I got a new projector too, y'all. I bought a new projector screen. A better one. A blow-up one. A big one. Yep, it came the other day. I got to put it up. I got, put, I got, and that's the reason why I probably can't move. I keep buying sugar, honey, iced tea. Excuse, excuse me. I keep buying stuff because I bought my granddaughter. See, let me show y'all. See, them boxes right there. Sit in the chair right there. See, that's all my mail and stuff. The boxes I get. Them boxes sit in that chair right there. I bought my grand. My granddaughter is gonna love what I got her. And it's for both of them. And the in the shorts. And the um one of the boxes. One of them is my new projector. The giant blow up black one. Where you go, no matter where you at in the yard, you can look at the movie on both sides. No matter where you at in the yard, you can look at the movie on both sides. So if you on this side or you on that side, you can still watch the movie. I, I'm, I, I'm ready to test that baby out because I want to see Morpheus. And it's on it's on pay-per-view right now. And then I bought NIE and Sahara uh, a step stool. They got these kids step stools. So when they cooking in the kitchen, because like Sahara want to make donuts. And... She's short. She can't reach up to the counter. So I went on Amazon. I found this step stool that the kids, they step in and it's got guards and stuff. So that way, when they in the kitchen with me, they can make a video with me. They could, um, they actually be at the same level I'm at. And I got from Amazon. It was like $79 or $89. It was not expensive. And it's nice. It's a children um ladder step stool for in the kitchen. You guys might have seen it somewhere. That is good if you got um hey, thank you, Miss Life. If you got grandchildren or little kitties and they want to cook in the kitchen with you, they got these step stools that you could buy under a hundred dollars and get somebody to put it together. Thank you, Amy. And I uh, put it together, and they can be ready at countertop with you in the kitchen, messing up your whole recipe. <laughs> Cause that's what they gonna be doing. <laughs> ah, right, y'all. I say it again. I'm out of here. Go somewhere. Be great. I got things to do. Can't be in here with y'all all day. Bye.